Gents, as you can see from here, I've got over a hundred pairs of shoes. That being said, I only wear a small portion of them. Now, if you think about it, it makes sense. I've got a style channel. I need lots of samples to be able to show you guys in the videos. On top of that, I've been making style videos for over a decade, and it makes sense that a lot of companies send me these products for free. All that being said, if I've got so many pairs of shoes, which ones do I actually wear and why? So the first shoe on this list isn't a shoe at all. No, it's a form of footwear that's been around for hundreds of years, but really in about the 1850s, it came into its own. Deriving from the popular English Wellington boot, the boot I'm about to talk about has become synonymous with the American cowboy. The shoe I'm talking about, the Western boot, AKA the cowboy boot. Now looking back at my calendar for the last year, I wore Western boots for a total of probably 10 days. I know this for a particular reason. You see, whenever I'm traveling for business, if I'm going to a conference, if I'm going to give a presentation, I love to wear Western boots. Now to those in the know, it's no secret. When you find the right pair of Western boots, they're incredibly comfortable. They help you stand about two to three inches taller. They're a pair of footwear that when you wear them anywhere in the world, people recognize them and you got to have a bit of confidence. I love wearing this particular pair of Chiso number ones with a sports jacket, a pair of straight denim, dark in color, the nice collared shirt and pocket square right there in the sports jacket. Yeah, that right there is my go-to speaking uniform. Now, in case you haven't heard of Chisos, they're an up and coming boot brand out of Austin, Texas. My friend Will runs them and I love what he's doing over there. The boots have style. They have a quality build and most importantly, they are damn comfy. In fact, that's their whole slogan is that these boots are going to be incredibly comfortable. And that's important because I've got a pair right here that I picked up almost a decade ago when I was down in Austin. I went to UT, grew up in Midland, Texas. I love Western boots, but this pair from Lucchese, they look nice. They actually fit well. But after a few hours, they would get uncomfortable. Actually, after a few minutes, they weren't, they just weren't the most comfortable pair of boots. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Luke Casey doesn't make comfortable boots, but the pair I had, they just didn't work well. These right here, what I love the story that Will told me is that he used to ride his motorcycles all around. He loved Western boots and he wanted a Western boot that he could wear riding his motorcycle, be incredibly comfortable and to be able to get a bit of grip on the road. Yeah. Anyone that rides knows you got to be able to put your feet down. And if you don't have a good grip, if you lean over too much, you could drop the whole bike. Now, splurging for a pair of Chisos is a little bit too much for your budget. Definitely check out Thursday Boots. I've talked about them before. I've had them as a sponsor. They are not the sponsor of this video, but they make a well-made Western boot that is affordable and I think of good quality. Now, if those cowboy boots are a little bit too much, you want something a little bit more muted, check out a pair of ropers. To most people, they're going to look like Western boots, but the shaft isn't going to be as high and these are made of more for everyday practical wear. Next up, let's talk about my go-to summer shoe. A lot of guys stick with running shoes. Come on, you can do better. Step it up and look at a pair of loafers. So the first shoe on my summer loafer list is going to be the Cromwell. This is a penny loafer from Jay Butler. Now this particular pair, I have probably worn already 30 times this summer. It is my go-to with a simple outfit. Like you see what I'm wearing right here, the blue polo with gray trousers, performance pants. What I like about this pair of shoes is it dresses up a otherwise very casual, plain outfit. Another shoe I've been rotating in from Jay Butler is this Millbank Bit Loafer. So the Bit Loafer right there at the front gives a little bit of decoration, a little bit of bling. But for me, the coolest part about these shoes is the perforated leather. Sometimes it's hard to find a pair of shoes that have this and obviously it's geared towards warmer weather. But when you wear this with a pair of no-show socks, man, it looks good and it feels cool. Now this season, I'm not wearing them as much, but I've also got a pair of those Cromwell Penny Loafers in a light brown leather. As you can see, I need to better condition them. But if you look at the bottom, I have worn the heck out of these things. Seriously, last year, I think I wore them so much, I put a hole in the bottom. You can see it right here. And on top of the style, one of the other things I love about these shoes is the size of the vamp. It actually is relatively small. So right here in the upper, you've just got more of your foot that's going to be exposed to the air. So therefore, they're just simply cooler. That being said, there is a problem with that design. And that is if you've got a smaller vamp, basically the shoe is going to come off easier. So if you're getting chased, you know, by a bear, cocaine bear, you definitely are going to be the guy. Yeah. You want to ditch those shoes and just start running. But that's why I've got this other pair of loafers here. This one by Beckett Simonon. And these are going to be a bit dressier. I like these for the fall, for the spring. If you know, the weather isn't as warm and I want something that I can dress up with a sports jacket, odd trousers, or even wear with a casual suit. Now this pair by Beckett Simonon also comes in ox blood. And what I like about this is if you love black shoes and you've been hesitant to get out of black shoes, try ox blood. It's going to work with everything your black shoes does, but it's going to add that bit of color. Now with all those loafers, notice the color tones. They're relatively relatively neutral. They're going to be easy to match. They're going to be easy to work with everything in your wardrobe. But I talked about why I liked wearing those green suede 
because they really did add a bit of style. But if you want to really have fun, check out this pair here made by my friends over at Ace Mark. Took me a second. I haven't worked with them as well as a sponsor. So again, this video is not sponsored. These are simply a great pair of blue, just beautiful shoes. They got the split toe right there in the front and uh, they're incredibly lightweight, great for summer. Uh, I probably wouldn't wear, be wearing these in the winter, but as you can tell with loafers in general, these are going to be more of a warmer weather type of style. But speaking of Ace Marks, let's move to a particular shoe that I just love the heck out of and that is the Chelsea boot. This one right here, this is a dress Chelsea boot. If you're going to see different types out there, Thursday Boots makes a lot of Chelsea's, which I'll talk about actually here in a second. But those Chelsea's are going to be a heavier build. This one, if you can imagine, is built on a car chassis. It's made to be smoother. The toe box right here, it's going to be a little bit more delicate in the design, the overall shape. This particular style, this particular cut is made to be worn with a suit. You can dress it down with a casual suit, a sports jacket, a pair of odd trousers. Maybe you would wear this with jeans, but really that is going to be too casual for these dressy boots. Now, if you're going to go casual with a pair of Chelsea's, you're looking for a pair that you can wear with jeans, you can wear basically with a more rugged type of look, check out the Legends. This pair right here in Safari has been my go-to for the last year. Seriously, as you can see here, I definitely need to clean these things up. Now, an older design that I still put a lot of miles on, but doesn't necessarily have that rugged of a sole, but still gets the job done, it's going to be the Dukes by Thursday Boots, and this particular pair right here is in brown. Yes, I know, I got to shine these things up. Now, this next shoe company is the most affordable on the list, but I'm need a little bit of help from my Ukrainian friends out there because I couldn't find a good website or much information about them, but the company is Mida. I know that they were founded after the fall of the Soviet Union over in Ukraine, and uh, to this day, they're still making actually affordable shoes that started about 25 bucks. Now, they are going to be glued. They are going to have a rubber sole, but for me, what I love about these, simple, the styles are actually pretty decent. If you know what you're looking for, that perforated leather, overall, a simple, great summer shoe, which on my last trip to Ukraine back in 2021, I picked up like three pairs of these. Now, gents, if you're enjoying today's video, if you love a good pair of double monk straps, do me a favor and smash the like button. Seriously, when you engage with these videos, you let the YouTube gods know that, hey, this video is worth watching. And uh, yeah, if you like double monk straps, this pair right here, I haven't worn it as much as I used to. It still probably is in the top 10 of my rotation. Now, the company that makes these, I'm not going to mention the reason being, I don't think they're in business anymore, or at least I haven't heard great things about with the kind of business they're doing, but definitely check out some of the other companies I've talked about, Ace Marks, Thursday Boots, Beckett Seminum, but Oxblood, when it comes to to double monks, I think is really where it's at. Again, if you like black shoes, it's an easy way to bring in a bit of color. And if you're into brown shoes, it's going to work with pretty much any of your outfits. Really one of the most versatile colors out there. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, how does my style measure up? What actions do I need to take? Well, gents, if you haven't taken our style quiz over at Real Men Real Style, I'm going to link to it down in the description below. This is a free and fun quiz in which we ask you questions and then we give you a breakout of your style score in areas that you can improve. But if that's not enough, if you're a man that wants to take action, you're tired of watching all of these videos and not actually following through, going through and buying the clothing, revamping your wardrobe, improving your image, then you need to check out our course, The Style System. Over the last decade, this has been the internet's go-to professional men's style course in which we teach you exactly what you need to know. The goal of The Style System is to give you the information you need to take action so that you can become your best dressed self. Seriously, gents, you're going to walk into a room and unless I'm present, you're going to be the best dressed guy there. Seriously, I've met men who have gone through my course and they put me to shame at times because yeah, I dressed down and these guys came in and they owned the room. But seriously, gents, check out the course. It's all about action. It's about you taking the steps to become the man you know yourself to be. All the links to everything I just mentioned down in the description of today's video. Now, this next shoe I wear for about an hour every day. All right, I take that back. I try to wear them every day. Gents, the shoes I'm talking about are going to be Brooks's Ravel and their Bedlam. Now, the Bedlam has been rebranded to the Levitate GTS, but the Ravel, that one looks the same. And I love the fact that it comes in a tie dye. But this black one right here is my go to running shoe. I wanted something that was light and something that was made for runners. One thing you may not know about me is throughout high school and college, I was a track and cross country runner. To this day, I still love going out for a run, just being in and around nature. Yeah, it just makes you feel amazing, right? But the reason that I've stuck with Brooks is I used to wear Nike, I used to wear Adidas, and then I realized that Brooks, they make running shoes for runners. I mean, Nike used to make good running shoes, but now it just seems like there's only a select few companies that make really with great support and they give you these different types depending on, you know, I'm almost 50 years old now. Yeah. So I want a shoe that is going to be able to take care of me. All right, Jen. So what video to watch next? Yes, I did not talk about these. I bought these just simply to be able to understand why people love them. 
I never found an occasion to wear them. But if you want to, let's talk about watches. I have a lot of watches and which watches do I actually wear? Which watches just sit on my shelf? Guys, I got you covered in this video. Boom, right here. My watch collection, there's a lot of them and uh, these are the watches I actually wear. So check 